guys, welcome to IPCS Automation. Today I am going to discuss about the top 5 technologies in industrial automation. So here I am going to be the first one that will be the IIoT or else called Industrial Internet of Things. So it's included in the Industry 4.0 that will be the IIoT. The first thing will be IIoT and we are discussing about the, what is IIoT now. That means IIoT means we can actually, for simplicity, we can actually connect all these sensors, things, inputs, outputs on an industry system through a network. It's all about a networking and it's totally connected with each other. Consider me and with you and your friend and your colleagues. We all are connected like that. The sensors and the inputs and the outputs are in an industry which is connected together. That's called IoT. That means we can actually access the database between the sensors, inputs, outputs and everything together. That's IoT. And we can actually access through our cell phone if you want to swipe up your cell phone and you can simply see that. That's called IoT. That's one of the leading technologies in the industry automation nowadays. Now the second one. The second one which is a predictive maintenance. That means we can actually predict the maintenance in an industry system. Okay, through this we can actually predict the cost of the maintenance. We can actually uh, predict the type of the maintenance. Everything that will be connected to the predictive maintenance. That means if a motor is working in an industry and that's getting some damage or that's showing some vibrations that means that's all about it's it depends on the damage okay the motor is showing some vibrations that means that's coming with the damage so that for prediction we can actually predict that vibration with the vibration sensor that is a predictive damage sensor so we can actually sense and predict the damage the upcoming damage coming to the motor and we can actually prevent this thing before it gets to the downtime. That is the predictive damage. Through this, we can actually increase the production and actually decrease the downtime and actually run our industries as smooth as we were. That is the predictive damage. Now, the third one is the collaborative robots or it's called cobots. The cobots you saw in, in this, some videos like in a corporation plant or a industry manufacturing industry, we have to work a robot with our hands on or else a robot is helping our mechanical or stressful jobs that's called cobots that means we have to assist the motion of a robot with our own hands we can assist the motion but the, all the mechanical works or the, all the load is bared by the robot that's called cobots so we can actually decrease the load in our hands but we can actually do everything like an iron man okay like an iron man we can do everything Everything is done in an Ironman suit, which is done by or controlled by the Jarvis. Like that, a cobot can do whatever we want, but the load will be completely bared by the robots. That's cobot. Here comes with the fourth topic that will be the AI and the machine learning. So, this is one of the emerging technology, which is AI means artificial intelligence. That means an intelligence is inside the machine. That means that will simplify the work load done by the scientist or else the technician whatever consider an industry to be specific a clothing industry as a clothing industry for clothing that increases the demands in the festive seasons that is as quite natural with ai we can actually predict the big data analysis we can actually analyze every data every bit of data in every month through a series of algorithms and we actually analyze this stuff and we will predict in this June month there has a festival like or not. We actually go to that festival and we actually increase the production before the festival arrives. That is the big data analysis through the AI and we can actually train our machines to produce or product more or to make the productivity high without meeting the production downtime. That is the AI and machine learning. Here comes to the last and fifth and the final one. That is the hyper automation. Hyper automation means the merging or the hybridization of the AI, RPA and ML. That means RPA means robotic process automation and AI means artificial intelligence and ML means machine learning. We are actually clubbing these three guys to make everything easier. That is the hyper automation. That means in the conventional days, we do have the RPA or the robotic process automation. Everything is picked and placed by the robots. 
in the in the previous days everything is done by the robots now it comes with a repetition process everything can be done by through ai and the machine learning through ai that means in a repetition production or the error correcting process like a calibration we have to do multiple times so we have to reduce the multiple times done by a machine or man that means that is that multiple algorithm can be automatically generated by the ai and that will the ai will teach the machines that means the machines will learn the algorithm and do whatever in need that is the hyper automation so that's all of the five emerging and leading topics in the industrial automation and thank you